Hey, what's up guys and gals? This is uh, Bulldog Burgess with you again for my second um, submission with HGA grading. A little bit about this, this was a 10 day service also. Um, there was a little confusion because I did not receive a email notification that it was being shipped back to me. So I started to get worried, but uh, however, they did end up getting that straight. They did meet the, uh, within the 10 day turnaround. A um, couple things about this submission, six cards total three of which were um, already slabbed by a competitor. We'll get into that when we see the grading. Um, so it was a, a, a re-slab, a re-grade from somebody else, crossover if you will. Um, so go ahead and let's uh, get right into uh, opening it up and see what we got. Okay guys, let's get right into it. Obviously HGA box, pre-opened it. I have not looked at any of the grades yet, so. Here we go. Here's the first one. So they did a refund on card too small they have. This was a Vlad Guerrero Tops Clearly Authentic. So I'm not very happy with that. They've opened it and then decided that it was too small. This label here was, was not tampered with at all before I sent to them. Um, it's numbered five. So obviously HGA does not have anything that would uh, encapsulate something that small. I do not appreciate though that they've taken it out and then decided that. So I'll have to check my invoice and see if that indeed was refunded. Now here's a big one that was graded prior from a GMA grading. It graded a 10, so we're gonna see how it crossed over. A lot of people don't value GMAs very high, but uh, my theory behind it is, if you're gonna cross over, only send a 10. Um, don't send something in a slab from a competitor and hope that it uh, increases in grade. So it did in fact gement, so I'm quite happy with that. I mean, the card looks amazing with the color match slab. So we got a 9-5 uh, rookie exclusive LeBron James gement. Very happy with that one. Here's two 1992 tops that were also crossovers from GMA. Let's see how they did. So first one is a nine. We'll see how the other one does. The centering, it looks like it's a, a nine on there. A nine on the surface is what brought it down. So that didn't cross over as well as I thought it would. And let's check out its twin, also a nine. You got an 8.5 on the centering and 8.5 on the surface. So GMA or uh, HDA was stricter on uh, from GMA. So maybe that's uh, some of the AI technology picking up on that. Still a beautiful slab with the color match. Um, however, I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't gem, um, but you know, I, I ultimately want an honest grade, an accurate grade. So maybe GMA wasn't uh, too accurate in um, their assessments of tens of these. This right here is gonna be a Justin Herbert mosaic rookie. Got a 9.5 gem on that, that's good. All 9.5s with a 10 centering. Now I'm gonna have to look back at my order because I think I requested color match, uh, a card color match. This however looks like they team color matched. I think a card color match would have been spectacular on here. However, it still looks good, but I'm gonna have to look back and see what I actually requested on that. It'll uh, 
I wonder if they made a mistake and went with uh, something other than what I ordered. And we got a 9.5 Gem Mint on a triple threads auto from the Yankees. You got Andy Pettit, Bernie Williams, and Jorge Posada, numbered to 36. You got a 9 on the corners, 10 on the edges, 9.5s otherwise. So that, that came out good, a Gem Mint there. So that's all for the grading. Um, they will be listed on eBay. Um, do a quick review and uh, ultimately I'm, I'm pretty happy except for the shacks. Okay guys, so a uh, quick conclusion after checking a couple things. I went back and checked the order on the Herbert. I was mistaken. I did indeed um, select team match, uh, team color match on all those cards that were submitted in that submission. So uh, that wasn't a mistake on their part. That was a mistake on my uh, recollection of that. Um, the There was a refund on the Vlad Guerrero uh, card that was too small. However, it was a, uh, a $20 refund on a $55 uh, spot. So I'm going to have to get with them. Doesn't make much sense to me to only do a $20 refund on $55 uh, 10 day submission um, when they didn't end up grading it and uh, uh, tampered with the seal before they could figure that out. Um, but uh, my impressions is that they'll take care of it. The, their customer service has been good uh, and everything else they've done along the way for the first two submissions. Um, so my last submission currently submitted with them is a 60 day submission. Um, however, uh, I'll share that when it gets back. Uh, there's um, some LeBron rookies in there. There's some uh, other crossovers that were, uh, uh, I decided to crack some and submit them that way. So uh, I'll let you guys know the results of that when it comes back. Till next time, this is Bulldog Burgess.